Hi, this is Math From Scratch and this is Column Method Subtraction Level 6. My name's Richard and in this lesson we're going to look at how we combine the idea of double compensating, which we saw in Level 4, and the chain of borrowing, which we saw in Level 5. Now, if you're new to Column Method Subtraction, um, you might want to start at Level 1 and work up to this, otherwise this lesson won't make much sense. And the links to those are in the comment section and also in the card at the top there. So without further ado, let's just crack on with example number one. So if we look at our units column, the one is too small, so we actually need to borrow from the three, from the tens column. So we're gonna reduce that by one, which you should know by now, reduce that to a two, and then the one gets carried, and so we read that as an 11. Now we need to do 11 subtract nine, which gives me an answer of two. Okay, they move on to the tens column, two subtract four. Now this time we can't do because the two is now smaller than four. So now we need to borrow, but again, we can't borrow from the zero there. So we need to utilize the chain concept that we learned in level five. So we're gonna move across to the six, strike that down to a five. The one from there is now gonna live next to this zero, make that a 10. We're now gonna strike that through and that becomes a nine. And then the one from there is gonna live next to that two to make that a 12. So and this is now going to be 12 subtract four, which gives me an answer of eight, which we can do now because this is the double compensating bit. 12 subtract four is eight. Now the hundreds column, nine subtract nothing just gives me nine. And then five subtract nothing, that just gives me five. And so that gives me an answer of 5,982, for example, number one. And as you can see, we've now got a combination of the borrowing concept, the chain of borrowing, and then, oh, and then the double compensate in there. So hopefully you'll see it again in action in example number two. So seven subtract nine, we can't do because seven's too small. So we're going to borrow from the two. This is going to reduce to a one. And now this becomes seven subtract nine, which gives me an answer of eight. Now we look at the tens column. We've got one subtract nine because obviously we do bottom, top take away the bottom. Now this nine is too big, so we're gonna to have to borrow again on this top. So we can't take a number from this zero, so we're gonna take it from this seven. That's gonna to reduce to a six, and then the chain is gonna start. That becomes a 10. We're gonna take one from there, that becomes a nine, and then we're going to put the one there. 11 take away nine, well that gives me a two. Nine subtract three gives me a six, and then six take away two, that just gives me a four. And so that gives me 4,628. So I'm gonna tick, tick both of these. And taking each digit in turn really does ensure that you don't make any mistakes. Example number three, one take away seven we can't do, so we're going to borrow. Now if we look, we've got a zero, so we need to set up a chain by the process. So that's gonna to reduce to a three, one there, that's gonna to reduce to a nine, and then the one from there is gonna live next to that one. So 11 subtract seven, well, that's gonna give me an answer of four. Nine subtract zero, that's just gonna give me a nine. Hundreds column, three subtract seven. Now this is the one that we can't do, so we're just going to set up our chain. So that becomes a five, that becomes a one, and we're gonna reduce that to a nine. The one then carries over there, that's gonna to reduce to a nine, Then the one from that is gonna live next to the three. So now 13 subtract seven gives me an answer of six, and then Nine subtract nothing. Now, just for the sake of this one, I'm gonna write some zeros in. You don't have to, as you learned from level one, but you can do if you want. Nine subtract nothing is nine. Nine subtract nothing is nine. And five subtract nothing, well, that gives me five. And so the answer to that one is 599,694. And now here we have example number four. So we'll just go straight in with it. Two's too small, so we need to borrow from this three. That's gonna to reduce to a two. Then the one goes there. 12 subtract four gives me an eight. Two's too small. So again, let's sort up our chain. That becomes a two. We're gonna borrow the one, then that's gonna be reduced by one, and then that's gonna be a 12. 12 subtract four gives me an eight. Nine subtract four gives me a five. Two subtract four. So we've got another chain to sort out. So that becomes a six, one. Then we're gonna reduce that by nine, and then that becomes another 12. 12 subtract four. It's eight, and then nine subtract nothing, and six subtract nothing. Nine subtract nothing is nine, and six subtract nothing gives me a six. So that's 698,588. So as you can see, you've got to have your wits about you on this one, but 
Level six now, this is about as hard as it gets when you've got a chain and you've also got double borrowing. And I have tried to give you really awkward examples. So you've been able to you basically seen every single possible scenario for where you would use column method subtraction. Because then by the end of level seven, you will be able to subtract any two numbers, decimals, whole numbers, whatever, you will be able to subtract them. Okay, so now you've gone through some examples, why don't we have a look at some practice questions? Have a go at those four, uh, if you wish. If not, I'll see you in level seven. Um, but if you have, if you do want to have a go at those, uh, don't forget the answer walkthrough video that accompanies this that will be in the um, in the card and in the in the subscription, um, what do you call it, comments box at the bottom. Um, so yeah, have a go at those, see how you get on, and I'll either see you in your walkthrough or hopefully see you in level seven. I'll see you soon.